Microsoft jumps headfirst into the education space, Apple will share your location when you call 911, and Google invests in Chinese e-commerce. It's all the tech news that's popular right now. Welcome to Hashtag Trending. It's Tuesday, June 19th, and I'm Mandy Kovacs. First up from LinkedIn is news that Microsoft has acquired Flipgrid, an education startup and app that lets users create and send videos to each other. The company's platform is used by more than 20 million students and teachers today. Terms of the deal weren't disclosed, but Microsoft is making Flipgrid free for schools to use, with existing subscribers getting refunds. Microsoft explained the move in a blog post yesterday, saying that social interaction and learning can help deepen students' understanding of curricula and help build their collaborative, social, and emotional skills. The purchase comes at a time when competition for the classroom is ramping up, however. Microsoft will be competing with the likes of Apple and Google for the space. Next from Reddit, Apple announced a number of new services and updates at its Worldwide Developers Conference a couple weeks ago, and it unveiled another one yesterday. As part of its new iOS 12, the company will automatically share a user's location with emergency services when they call 911 in the future. Apple says this will help emergency services locate a person more quickly and efficiently when in need. It also emphasized that the data will not be used for any non-emergency purposes. Only the responding 911 center will be able to access the location. This will be available in the U.S. first, but is likely to expand to other regions eventually. And last but not least from Reddit again, Google announced yesterday that it's investing $550 million into Chinese e-commerce platform JD.com in exchange for 27 million shares. JD.com is China's second-largest e-commerce player behind only the massive Alibaba. The strategic partnership combines JD.com's experience and technology in supply chain and logistics with the tech giant's customer reach, data, and marketing capabilities. The two will reportedly work together to develop retail infrastructure in Europe, North America, and Southeast Asia. The announcement comes amidst growing tensions between the U.S. and China, however, so it'll be interesting to see how a potential global trade war could affect this partnership. Well, that's what's trending today. Hashtag Trending is a part of the ITWC Podcast Network. Look for more of our content on iTunes, Google Play, or wherever else you get your podcasts from. You can also add them to your Alexa Flash Briefing or your Google Assistant Daily Briefing. Once again, I'm Mandy Kovacs. Thanks for listening.